Hello, we're back again. Just the other day, I showed you how you can use TV Head End and Pycore Player together to uh, play back radio streams. There's only one thing I wasn't too happy with is the icons which show up on the Pycore Player, or Pycons as they're called. Because the problem with them, they were being stretched because they're rectangles, and Pycore Player is all well, it's normally used for playback of uh, albums and singles and album covers and single covers are always square so in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own custom or edit the uh, Pi cons you can download off the web sort of like uh, Pi con sets right first thing I'll do I'll go into my pictures this is a uh, Pi con set I downloaded and as you can see they're all rectangles this is a TV and radio channels from all around the world. There's over 7,000 of them. And as you can see, nearly all of them are all rectangles. So I'll just uh, minimize that. What I'm going to do is just open up Photoshop and I'll show you how you can edit them. The thing I'm going to do is put a rectangle on a square canvas. I just go into file and then open so I'm in my uh, icons folder which I downloaded so I'm gonna do I'll just do a few as an example I'll do uh, BBC ones or say BBC channels so I've got a few BBC radio channels there so I'll just select five of them and then open let them load in I'll just enlarge and yeah, move it to the center and as you can see it's a rectangle on a rectangle background right so I'm going to go up to image and then canvas size you can make it uh, say 400 by 400 or say 450 but I'm going to make it 500 by 500 it just gives you a little bit of play then I'm going to click OK. So now we've got the uh, rectangle Picon on a square background. Thing as well, I'm just going to add a little bit of a back shadow to the image so it shows up a little bit better. So I'm going to right click on my layer and then uh, blending options. Just move it to the left. If you look down the bottom, you've got drop shadow. Just going to click on that. You can see I've got a slight drop shadow now on the image. I'm just going to OK it. Just move it out of the way. Right, the thing I have done, I've made an action. What an action does, it records the steps you've taken and saves them so you can uh, open another image or you can do a batch file you can open up a whole folder of images and it will convert the lot for you so I've got uh, one action here so if I just click play it will do all the actions for me where it resizes the canvas and adds a drop shadow to the image so you can do them individually or you can do a batch of a whole folder and it will do each and every one for you last one So they're all done. The thing I'm going to do is just go into my pictures. I'm going to create a new folder. Uh, I'm going to call it Pycons. Just go back into Photoshop. Now I'm going to go File. I'm going to go Export. I'm going to save for web legacy. And you want to make sure the preset is PNG 24. Then I'm going to click save. Let me just go into that folder I just created in pictures. 
icon folder I just made. I'm going to click save. Then I can just close it. I don't want to save it there. I've already done it. Go file, export, save for web, save. Just close it and nope. File, export, save for web, save, save, nope. Save for web, save again, save, close, and nope. Uh, one more, one more and we're done. File, oh, file, export, save for web. Save, save, and close. And click no. Right, so that's all them ed uh, edited. I can close down Photoshop now. I'll just check they're all there. Yep. Uh, that's the five I converted. Just close that down. Right, the thing I'm going to do now is show you how you add them to your Raspberry Pi running TV head end. I'm just going to open a browser and I'm going to be downloading WinSCP. It's a free bit of software. I'll put a link in the description, you want to download it. I've already got it downloaded and installed. So I'll just close that down. And I will just open it up. So it's WinSCP. Right, when it first loads, all you need to do under host name is type in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. And then your username, which is normally Pi, and then your password. But there's one little extra step we need to do so you can uh, move files to the Raspberry Pi. So you want to click on Advanced, and then you will see is it SFTP? So click on that. Just open a little tech, uh, text document. You need to add this line. So I'm just going to highlight it and copy it. And add it where it says FTP server. Just paste it in. Otherwise we can't copy files or folders to the Raspberry Pi. Just click OK. You can save your settings at this point if you want to. I'm just going to log in. Right, now we're logged into the Pi. You've got a Raspberry Pi on the right and your PC on the left. So I'm just going to go up one. So this is the uh, main folder on the Raspberry Pi or the home folder on the Raspberry Pi. This is where I'm going to copy the PyCons folder. So if I go into my pictures and there's the... Uh, PyCons folder we made earlier with our images. I'm just going to drag it over to the Raspberry Pi. So that's done. I'll just check the images are in there. And there's the images we converted. So that's all done. So they're in Home and PyCons. I'm just going to close that down. I'll just click Yes. I'll just minimise that. We're going to use that again in a minute. Thing is now, I'm just going to log into TV Head End because we need to uh, change a few links. So I'll just open my browser again. Going to go into TV Head End. So you want to go into uh, configuration and then channel EPG. I 
I'm just going to click on tabs to make sure they're all grouped. So that's all my radio channels grouped together. Right, uh, one of the images, I just want to get my file names. Because you've got to make sure everything matches up. So the first one I'll do is BBC3. Right, so I'm going to re click on rename. I'm going to copy the whole name plus dot PNG. Copy it. And I'm going to paste it after this line. So you've got home, PyCons, and then the name of the image. I'm just going to copy it. Then I'm going to go into BBC3. I'll just find it. Just highlight it. Then go edit. And you will see a user icon. So I'm just going to paste it in. So now that links to the image. Now I'm just going to click save. You see there the links change now. I'm going to go back into my PyCons. Going to go to Radio 4. So I'm just going to rename. Copied whole thing, so you've got name and PNG. I'll just remove that for Radio 3. Paste it in, paste the link in. Copy it all. Go back into TV head end and find Radio 4. Just do the same again, highlight it and then edit. User icon and just paste it in and then save. Do one more. So right click, rename, copy the whole lot. Go back into my text document, just remove the last one, right click to paste it in, and then copy the whole lot, and copy, I go back into uh, TV head end, and I want, uh, where is it, uh, BBC Radio 4 Extra, highlight it, edit, user icon and paste it in and then save right so that's all done so that's uh, three examples done so now you should have better quality PyCons showing up on your PyCore player if you're using a 7 inch touchscreen so the thing I'll do now is swap over to my PyCore player just to show you a few just so you can see what they look like right I will just go into my apps and TVH and then radio channels let it load so I'll go say BBC 6 music let it load let it buffer and as you can see, they're a lot better quality now. I'll zoom it up a bit. So they're not being stretched. They're a nice clear image now. Let me just go through them. Let me go back. Go back one. Uh, Radio 5 Live. I'll just zoom up a bit. Do a couple more. Uh, BBC Radio 1. Let it load. And one more. What's that BBC 3?
Let's go back. And zip. And as always say, I uh, hope this video helps and uh, goodbye.